Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman is the image Hollywood gives us of the life of a prostitute, but that's more like a fairy tale than reality. In the real world, life as a streetwalker is dangerous, demeaning, and drug-addled. George Knapp of the Channel 8 I Team shows us in a special story, Gail's Journey. There are no statistics to tell us how many young women have been dazzled by the bright lights of Las Vegas. The untold thousands who've seen the easy money and fast action and decided this is where their dreams would come true. High school dropout Gail Whaley saw those lights. In 1982, she left behind a troubled life in Alabama and moved to Nevada. The first step down a staircase to her personal hell. She was a gorgeous little blonde uh, when she first came to Las Vegas and it, within the first few months you could see the decline. By the time Gail came to the attention of Bill Keaton, she was already dead. Gail's daughter, who'd been adopted out at birth, was searching for answers about her real mother and called. The birth mother had just passed away of a drug overdose in Las Vegas. She asked me to uh, get her a picture of her mother, what she looked like. But when Keaton sent this mugshot, the daughter assumed a mistake had been made. It couldn't be the same woman. No one could change this much in just 14 years. Keaton pulled up the rest of Gail's file. The pictures graphically tell the story of Gail's tragic journey. The arrests began in late 1982. Gail quickly adopted the hardened look of a street whore. By March 1983, someone was punching her around. There were sickly sores of drug abuse as well. Arrests became an almost monthly event, sometimes twice a month. She smiled in some of the photos, but clearly didn't have much to smile about. 1984, another year and a new look. The hairstyle may not have been her idea. Police say pimps often chop off the hair of their hookers as punishment. We know that she had a pimp a few times, and I'm sure that uh, life was very difficult. 1985, resembling a troll, Gail gets busted six more times on drug and prostitution charges. There were another six arrests in 1986. She tried to improve her standing with police by becoming a street-level informant, and it seemed to have worked. She was busted only once in 1987. But by 1990, Gail's appointment with tragedy was back on schedule. The glasses can't hide the scabs on her face, and nothing could disguise the look of desperation in her eyes. There were seven more arrests in 1993. This photo was taken on June 24th. The next day, she was busted again. It must have been a long night. 1994, a new year, but the same old story. Her appearance changes radically from month to month, bust to bust, and it's hard to believe it's the same woman. When we arrested her, uh, she was in a drug-infested area in the downtown area of um, Las Vegas where the uh, low-end prostitutes, so to speak, work. Smitley was the officer who busted Gail for the last time, December 1995, in a seedy part of downtown Las Vegas. She was a uh, streetwise downtown girl by this time, walking the streets. She just got in the, uh, in the undercover vehicle, asked me uh, if I was a policeman, and then... Uh, Asked me if uh, I was looking for a date. A proposed $20 quickie led to Gail's last roundup. Two months later, she died of a heroin overdose. Her dream of the good life in Las Vegas, long gone. Back in Birmingham, Gail's daughter has learned the truth about her mother's life, and it's been hard to swallow. I know she's looking for some kind of uh, finality to, to her situation or something, but I don't think the pictures are going to give it to her. I, I uh, put in the letter that I, uh, I thought they're going to give her more questions and also going to bring up a lot of pity. If there's a sliver of silver in Gail Whaley's dark and cloudy life, it's this. The collection of mugshots so moved Metro officers that they will now be used in training and education programs, driving home the point about drugs and prostitution as no mere words can. The hardened street hooker, who once was a pretty girl from Birmingham, may help others in ways she never dreamed. George Knapp, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. It's hard to believe from those pictures, but when Gail Whaley died in February, she was only 42 years old.